Continuing coverage of the Chardon High School shooting, investigators believe that the gunman fired shots at three different locations inside of the school. One of those places being the cafeteria where students were waiting for a bus to go to the Auburn Career Center. News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos talked with a student, and Tracy, this student was actually grazed by a bullet? Yeah, Lee, you know, the details of what happened inside the cafeteria at Chardon High School this morning are absolutely chilling. Nate Mueller is lucky. He got out of that school this morning with just a scratch on his ear. Mueller says he was sitting at the table with several of the victims this morning at about 730. When he says the shooter approached them, the next thing he knew, he heard a gunshot. We heard a loud pop, like a firecracker, almost. Yeah. And I turned around, and I looked, and he was standing above his table, you know, pointing his gun. And he took one more shot, and then I turned around to go on, and that's when I felt it hit my ear. It was terror. It was, everything had just gone tunnel vision, like, I, I need to get out of here. You see glances of your friends laying all over the place. There's blood. There's people screaming. Everybody's running in different directions, and you're just trying to get out. Now, Nate did escape that cafeteria. He ran outside to the parking lot where he hid, and then he called 911. Now, the high school junior um, says that, that TJ was in a group of friends when they were in middle school that he was, they were all friendly with, but when they went to high school, they kind of parted ways. As far as any more of a motive, he really did not elaborate. He said that it is something that he just, as you can imagine, is etched in his mind. Reporting live in Chardon, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5. And after the Chardon High School shooting, counseling is also being made available for faculty, students, and their families. Grief counselors are at Chardon Middle School until 8 o'clock tonight, and they'll be on hand for the next couple of days. Ravenwood Mental Health Center for Geauga County also has a phone line available. It's called the COPE line. You can call 440-285-5665. And again, Chardon High School will be closed tomorrow.